This is Eric Mwad with Mwad.com. It is February 6th, 2019. In response to a question that I just got on YouTube, let's take a look here. And here's the question. The question is pretty much on this video here. And the question was what I thought of the breakout as far as SSYS is concerned. Now, since I had a couple of minutes to record this video, Let's take a look at the chart here for SSYS in terms of the breakout. And one can use this recent monthly closing high as one breakout level to use. So that's a breakout right there at the end of last month, which was January. And that is at 24.95. Or you can use this monthly closing high from 2017 that's also another logical area for a potential breakout in other words either of these levels can be used as a breakout level here the price to watch is 26.90 of course for the breakout to work they must stay above either of the breakouts that one is using so if you are using this 2495 it should stay above that if you are using 26.90, it should stay above that. Otherwise, a failed breakout is not what you want to see. That would be a red flag. Failed breakout here is not what bulls want to see because that would be a failed breakout attempt. The reason why it is on the radar here, I can see, is because it meets the minimum requirements for my method, which I call the ultimate Moade breakout. You can find more information. In the description of the video so moving here to new multi-year highs and also we can see the MACDs are moving to multi-year highs which is exactly what you want to see now I made a comment that failure here is very high or eventual failure number one you'll notice that we moved above 50 last month A nice move because of moving above 50 the risk here is if the breakouts fail the RSI will also be moving below 50 for a reversal and a big down month it's just something to consider but the main takeaway and why I said there's a possibility of the breakout failing actually comes from a different point of view again using the monthly charts and here we have all data monthly and what I see here is the possibility that what the stock is doing is coming back to test this major break that took place in 2014 off the highs there before this massive plunge. And so the RSI has come all the way back to test that level. So my suspicion here is that unless and until the stock can move above the blue line chances of a failure are very high in other words once it turns down for the month chances are there for a reversal and a major move to the downside based on what we've been discussing here especially given where the RSI is trading on the monthly time frame in fact we can see on this monthly last time we had a reversal in 2018 was here when it tried to move above 50 ultimately was rejected which is this period here before we get a multi-month move to the downside so one has to be vigilant especially if we start seeing the breakouts above 26.90 or 24.95 so one more time based on the uniformity principle you can find more about this in the description this here on a monthly basis could be where the stock stalls. Eric Moadith, mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E, I see.